This video tutorial shows how to use context menu in WPF. Let's create a project in Visual Studio 2008 file new project. I select WPF application. I call it context menu WPF sample. Creates a new project. Now, first thing I do is uh, by default a grid is added to your page. So I'm going to do is remove grid with canvas. And second, I'm going to do is add a rectangle to my window. I call it. rectangle I set its width 200 height 100 I also set its position left 20 20 and I'm also going to fill this with a uh, um, light blue color so here is my blue rectangle um, now I'm going to add a context menu to this rectangle when you click right when you right click on this rectangle you will see a menu and that's where I'm going to add that context menu so let's uh, every control in WPF has a context menu property that this property is used to add a context menu to any control. So as you can see, I see rectangle dot context menu. Now within this, I need to create a context menu. Uh, I give it a name, say rectangle menu. Now menu item element is used to add a menu item to the rectangle so header property is the text of menu item so I call it let's say uh, about color now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a menu item color and then within that I'm going to add children menu items Red. Header is uh, the text you will see on a menu item, and then, oops, Now what? Let's run F5. Let's run build and run this project and see what. This is my window. So if I right click on it, you will see color menu. In color menu, you will see three items: red, green, orange. Uh, right now they don't do anything, but next I'm going to write code. So when I you click on red, the uh, color of rectangle will change to red. When you click on green, uh, color of rectangle is going to change green and orange and so on. So let's write the uh, menu item click event handler. So close this. Now, in your code, you can see if I click, it ask me to add a new event handler. So if you double click on that, I actually am going to change it to red menu item click. Now same thing I'm going to do is add a green and orange item click here.
Now to write the code, you simply right click on it and say navigate to the navigate to event handler. You do that, your code is already added here for the event handler. So I have these three, this is added for no reason. So I have these three uh, menu item click event handler. So I'm going to do is what, what's my rectangle name is. My rectangle name is blue rectangle. So what I'm going to do is on red menu item click, I'm going to change the color of my rectangle to red by setting its fill property. What I'm going to do is on green, I'm going to change color to green. And on orange, I'm going to fill my rectangle with orange. So F5, that will build and run the project. So if I right click on my rectangle and go to red, as you can see, the color of rectangle changed to red. Now let's go to green, it's green. Now let's go to orange and the color of my rectangle will change to orange. Uh, this gives you an idea how to use a simple context menu in WPF. In uh, my next tutorial, I'll show you more advanced examples of context menu like uh, how to share a same context menu with, you know, between multiple, among multiple controls. So this ends, let's, uh, this concludes this uh, video.